that correct. Y equals negative one. Notice that there's no X's in this example. On this one, you're going to find the negative one on the Y axis. So I am going to find the negative one, which is right here on the Y axis. Now notice, when I put y equals negative one on my paper, so I'm gonna put y equals negative one. When I turn this y upside down, it becomes the letter h. h stands for horizontal. H stands for horizontal. Horizontal goes this way. And you can remember that because if you draw a sun, the sun rises and sets on the horizon. So this is a horizontal line. This is telling me that my horizontal line is going to touch negative one on the Y axis. So my horizontal line is going to look just like this. It's gonna to touch negative one on the Y axis. So let's look over here at the graph. So that means that I need a line that's going through this negative one. I need this line for my horizontal line. So I'm just gonna put it, I can put a dot anywhere along here and it will create a horizontal line. This line means y equals negative one. When you have a horizontal line, your slope is equal to zero. So I'm gonna write that on my paper. Anytime you see a horizontal line, the slope is equal to zero. That's just like when you're in the doctor's office, have you ever seen that machine on TV and it goes beep, beep, and it's telling you if the person's living? What happens when that line starts to flatline? That means that there's no life left in that person. No life means zero life. That means that that person is dead once you see this horizontal line. So your slope here for a horizontal line is equal to zero. So this is a slope of zero. Let's hit submit and see if this is the y equals negative one line.